right behind me is the real life Dark Star aircraft that was used on set during the opening scene of Top Gun Maverick. At the intersection of technology and military necessity, the world stands on the cusp of a new era. Recently, the United States Air Force captured global attention with news concerning its next-generation high-speed reconnaissance and strike platform, the SR-72, also known as Dark Star. This aircraft is being framed as the successor to the legendary SR-71 Blackbird, a machine that once epitomized American aerospace superiority. While details remain closely held, the revelation of the SR-72, set against a backdrop of increasing global tensions and rapid military modernization, signals a strategic shift toward greater speeds, unmanned capability, and resilience in a contested environment. The announcement resonated far beyond technical circles, signaling a profound evolution in how military powers approach intelligence gathering, deterrence, and power projection. While some sources speak of dramatic public unveilings, what matters most is the clear emergence of the SR-72 as a pressing topic across defense communities. The SR-72 does not merely inherit the legend of the Blackbird. It advances it, reflecting the demand for aircraft that can operate faster, higher, and with more autonomy than ever before. What sets the SR-72 apart is not only its projected maximum speed, an ambitious Mark VI, but its intent to harness unmanned hypersonic flight for critical missions, minimizing risks to aircrew while maximizing operational reach and survivability. Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, already synonymous with the most advanced projects in aviation, is spearheading its development applying decades of innovation to new design paradigms. Hints about auxiliary industry partnerships and technological inspirations abound, but the US government and contractors have not provided official confirmation of individual civilian collaborators. A quantum leap from the skunk works. To understand the significance of the SR-72, one must first recall the transformative impact of its predecessor. The SR-71 Blackbird was conceived in an age when speed and altitude were the ultimate defense against enemy interception. With a cruising speed beyond Mark III and a ceiling that brushed the edge of space, the Blackbird provided the United States with unparalleled intelligence and strategic flexibility for decades. But the strategic environment that shaped the SR-71 has changed. Advancements in anti-aircraft systems, networks of sensors, and the proliferation of advanced aviation and missile technologies have eroded many of the advantages that high speed and altitude once conferred. The SR-72 emerges from these realities, designed to reimagine invulnerability through speed, autonomy, and adaptability. Its unmanned nature is a direct response to environments where human pilots would face unacceptable risks. The design, still shrouded in secrecy, prioritizes hypersonic flight and a degree of operational versatility that would allow deep penetration into heavily contested airspace. The SR-72 is anticipated to work as both a reconnaissance and a rapid strike platform. By achieving speeds as high as Mark VI, up to twice that of the Blackbird, it promises the capability to outpace and potentially outmaneuver current generations of surface-to-air threats. Such velocity compresses the cycle of detection and response, making interception by conventional means extraordinarily difficult. To stay updated on the latest breakthroughs in aerospace technology and defense innovation, including future developments around the SR-72, Subscribe now and follow along as we explore the next chapter in high-speed aviation. Now let's move on. The Challenge of Hypersonic Flight While the theoretical speed of the SR-72 continues to generate intense discussion, the underlying science and engineering are formidable. Hypersonic flight, defined as sustained speeds above Mach 5, 
is a regime that drastically alters the physics of aerodynamics, structure, and propulsion. At Mark 6, every element of the aircraft must withstand dramatic increases in aerodynamic heating, where temperatures can easily exceed the thresholds of traditional aviation materials. To address these extremes, engineers have pursued breakthroughs in composites, alloys, and heat-resistant coatings capable of maintaining integrity under severe thermal and airflow stresses. Solutions that go beyond titanium or conventional carbon composites are under exploration. Hypersonic flight also complicates every other system aboard. Avionics must function amid intense vibration and electromagnetic disruption, and new methods for fuel management, environmental control, and engine operation are required. The propulsion challenge is central. While the SR-71 used turbojet-slash-ramjet hybrid engines optimized for high supersonic flight, speeds above Mark V likely necessitate a combined cycle engine, one which can transition seamlessly from turbojet or turbine-based performance to supersonic combustion ramjet, scramjet operation. This is an area of active research and development, with only incremental progress toward fully operational systems. Lockheed Martin executives have alluded to work in this field, but have not disclosed specifics. Operating an unmanned vehicle at these velocities adds another layer of complexity. Autonomous systems must interpret sensor data, manage mission tasks, conduct evasive maneuvers if necessary, and maintain communications, all while traversing hostile or denied airspace at tremendous speed. The feedback loop enabled by unmanned hypersonic missions analyze, adapt, and redeploy, has the potential to drive rapid advances in capability and survivability. Strategic Deterrence Reimagined The SR-72 represents a shift in the calculus of deterrence for the 21st century. Where previous generations of aircraft relied on visible strength and the presence of aircrews as both a shield and a warning, Unmanned hypersonic flight introduces new layers of ambiguity, speed, and strategic flexibility. Its very existence complicates the planning of potential adversaries. They must account not only for the possibility of fast-approaching, hard-to-intercept reconnaissance platforms, but also for rapid-strike operations that could emerge with little or no warning. This form of deterrence does not project power simply with the threat of massed force, but by compressing the time in which hostile action can be detected, assessed, and countered. At speeds of Mach 6, an SR-72 could, in principle, cross continents within minutes. For defenders, this leaves almost no margin for error. For planners, it creates an arena where swift, informed decision-making is vital. Moreover, the SR-72's unmanned nature means that missions can be undertaken that would have been considered unacceptable for piloted aircraft. Loss of a platform, while costly, does not risk escalation due to loss of personnel. This dynamic could influence both allied and adversarial behaviors, spurring investments in similar technologies and alternative countermeasures. Emerging Threats and Countermeasures However, the emergence of the SR-72 occurs amidst a rapidly changing threat landscape. Directed energy weapons, particularly high-energy lasers, represent one of the new frontiers in air defense. While still maturing, these systems theoretically offer almost instantaneous engagement and could present challenges to future hypersonic aircraft if sufficient tracking and power can be brought to bear. The ongoing hypersonic arms race further complicates the domain. Potential adversaries are investing in their own hypersonic interceptors and strike munitions. The prospect exists that other nations could field systems designed specifically to counter assets like the SR-72, whether through matching speeds, advanced tracking, or disruptive technologies such as electronic warfare. Designers anticipate these evolutions by pushing advances in survivability, deploying thermal protective surfaces, electronic countermeasures, and autonomous flight path adjustment algorithms that maximize survivability in intense threat environments. While current projections remain optimistic, the environment will continue to shift, 
and dominance at the hypersonic frontier is unlikely to be permanent. Unmanned autonomy and the risk equation. A distinguishing element of the SR-72 project is its commitment to unmanned operations. Removing pilots from the cockpit does more than avoid direct human risk. It fundamentally reconfigures how missions are planned and executed, without the physiological limits imposed by the need to accommodate and protect aircrew, the SR-72 can achieve higher G-loads, more extreme maneuvering, and flexible mission profiles. Autonomy also opens the door to real-time adaptation, a necessary capability under conditions where communication links might be jammed or otherwise compromised. As systems mature, future iterations are expected to become more self-sufficient. In contested environments, the SR-72's ability to process sensor input, navigate, avoid or absorb attacks, and execute mission goals without constant human oversight will be measured just as much by its software as by its aerodynamics or propulsion. This deep integration between hardware and artificial intelligence is a marker of next-generation military technology. Advances made on the SR-72 may have cascading effects across the broader spectrum of unmanned aerial systems. Lessons learned in composite materials, engine design and autonomy could inform projects focused on everything from reusable satellite delivery platforms to drone swarms operating at lower altitudes. The Landscape of Collaboration While rumors of specific collaborative arrangements, such as direct input from entrepreneurs like Elon Musk, circulate in open source channels, there is no official confirmation that Musk or his companies are directly involved in SR-72 development. However, the broader trend is clear. The next wave of defense innovation is increasingly marked by cross-pollination between traditional aerospace giants and the fastest moving innovators in the tech sector. For Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works, this likely means increased access to new methodologies, rapid prototyping, advanced artificial intelligence, and novel approaches to propulsion and materials science. The fusion of government and private ingenuity is seen as essential to compressing development cycles and outpacing adversaries. Still, the sensitive nature of defense technology maintains a boundary around the most crucial aspects. Intellectual property, export controls, and information security shape the contours of any such collaboration. The SR-72, like its predecessor, is the product of secrets, discipline, and a willingness to repeatedly test the frontier of what is possible. The Global Hypersonic Contest The SR-72 is not alone in the world. It arrives as part of an intensifying international drive to achieve hypersonic military capabilities. Russia and China are both investing heavily in this arena, with open-source assessments noting notable progress in hypersonic missiles and gliders. As the US fields the Dark Star, rival powers are observing closely and are almost certainly recalibrating their own project priorities in response. This competition is shaping not only the pace of research, but the concepts of employment. Should a hypersonic recon strike jet like the SR-72 achieve operational status, air defense doctrines around the world will have to adapt, potentially prioritizing satellite-based sensors, faster reacting missile systems, or distributed layered approaches to intercept. In this sense, the hypersonic race is just as much about perception and signaling as it is about hardware and numbers. The announcement, widely covered in both Western and international media, sends a message regarding where the US intends to focus its competitive military edge in the coming decades. Real-world impact and the future of warfare. With all eyes on the technical possibilities, it is easy to overlook the broader implications of the SR-72. The arrival, or public unveiling, of such a hypersonic unmanned vehicle marks a pivotal moment for military aviation, one that will reverberate through defense policy, alliance planning, and the international security environment. For the US and its allies, 
the SR-72 promises new options for rapid global reconnaissance and, if required, swift, precise strike. It could enable missions that previously required a major military buildup or came at unacceptable risk to aircrew. Decision makers at all levels will need to adapt doctrines to reflect the reduction in warning time that hypersonic flight enables, as well as new dilemmas in risk assessment and crisis management. For the defense industrial base, developing the SR-72 sets new benchmarks in propulsion, materials, avionics, autonomy, and secure communication. The benefits may extend well beyond the aircraft itself, influencing everything from space access to rapid unmanned logistics. At the same time, the expansion of unmanned hypersonic flight will likely shape the competitive strategies of adversaries. As with previous military revolutions, today's edge will inevitably produce tomorrow's counter. In a domain where every advantage is fleeting, success will rest on the capacity for continual learning, adaptation, and innovation. The Psychological Dimension Beyond the technical and strategic, aircraft like the SR-72 serve a psychological function. They signal investment in future capability and resolve to outpace evolving threats. For US allies, the platform's development can provide reassurance that the commitment to high-end air power is undiminished. For knowledgeable observers and adversaries, it underlines a persistent quest to maintain operational and technological superiority. Yet the SR-72 is not an endpoint. It is a bellwether of further transformation, a catalyst for new cycles of conceptual and technical change in the character of air warfare. In an era marked by unpredictability and risk, the stakes of this next chapter in aerospace design and military strategy are clear. The SR-72 Dark Star stands as a testimony to what can be achieved when technological ambition meets strategic necessity. Its projected performance and advanced design reset the benchmarks for aerospace engineering, operational reach, and military innovation. In the contest for air dominance, the pursuit of hypersonic speed is no longer a question of if, but how soon and who leads. As the framework of global competition shifts, the lessons learned and challenges overcome in the pursuit of the SR-72 will shape the trajectory of military aviation for years to come, reminding us that in the universe of possibilities, the future belongs to those both.